Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to be talking about how we copy our SSDs, how we create one rig, the second rig, the third rig, the fourth rig without having to reinstall Windows. So what we use for that is we use this special SSD copier. You can see you're running right here, it's at 50% copied. We're copying two rigs right now, this is a 14, uh, 12 GPU rig being copied over from this SSD to this SSD. Then on here we're copying our 14 GPU rig from this SSD to this SSD. So if you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe at the bell. Go to CryptoLLC.org if you're looking for someone to manage a GPU mining farm such as this one for you. We provide everything from acquiring all the parts, acquiring the GPUs, setting everything up and running everything for you. The only thing you would be required is to actually buy all the gear. The gear is owned by you. We manage it for you. So it's all 100% yours. We manage it for you and then we take a fee from the Bitcoins that are mined. So if you think that's interesting, go to CryptoLLC.org, send us an email. Now, if you're looking for an ASIC mining farm, we also do that as well, S19J Pro or just S19. Those are our um, S19 Pro actually, or the J Pro, or the S19 XP. Those are the three miners we highly, highly recommend to any clients that are interested in doing ASIC mining. We do that as well. If you're interested in that, go to Crypto LLC, send us an email, and we'll set something up. Now, the minimum investment for ASIC mining is 500,000. For GPU mining, you can start off with just one rig, meaning that you would buy just one rig of 14 GPUs, 3080s, it is something similar to some of these rigs. Uh, most likely they'll be Zotax or Gigabyte. You can see the Zotax over there. They're the blue ones right there. Anyway, let's go back to the SSD. So, instead of installing Windows 10 on every single computer, like just imagine we got another rig to set up. We start setting up this rig right here. Then we gotta put Windows 10, uh, Windows actual 11 on it. Put a Windows 11 on it. We gotta install all the drivers, update the software, install all the tools, install everything, set everything up. It's gonna be a huge, huge waste of time. So what you do in that situation is you make one nice clean copy, which means you clean Windows, you install all your software, you update everything, everything's good to go. You have the newest uh, NVIDIA driver, the newest UHD Intel driver installed. Um, you have all your shortcuts everywhere, all your programs there, all your settings are good. After everything is set up, you then shut, the, shut down the computer, you grab the SSD from it, which is this one right here, and then you start copying it to your new SSD, which is this one down here. This is the 12 GPU uh, SSD. I'll show you which one it is right over here. It's gonna be the top one right here. So you can see it's off right now because I'm copying it. All the GPUs are off. And the SSD was plugged in right at this location right here. So I'll unplug it, start copying it. Now the other copier is doing the 14 GPU rig, which is this one right here. You can see this one's also off. And this is where the SSD was plugged in before. So. This is off, copying it over. So this saves us a lot of time. Now when these two SSDs are finished, um, what I would do is I would take the new SSD, I would write on it the uh, GPU um, SSD it is, meaning that this is the MSI 12 GPU motherboard setup. Then that guy over there, that's the 14 GPU B250. So I'd write that on the SSD on permanent marker as well, let's put the date on it, so that way I know that it's the most current version. Then I can use these SSDs to make more and more copies for any potential future rigs, which obviously you can see how many we have here. Gotta copy all these guys over, it's a lot of uh, SSDs. And then as well as these SSDs over here. So I got a lot of copying to do. So this is the method we use, saves us a lot of time. Um, also, if you ever wanted to upgrade a sitting rig, meaning that, let's say this rig over here, the bottom one, let's say you wanted to upgrade everything on it at once. Now, I can see from here that it is a 12 GPU rig. So what I can do is instead of going into that rig and manually updating everything, and, you know, maybe, maybe it uh, takes too much time, or it might be easier for me to just unplug the SSD from it and plug in a new copied SSD onto it. So unplug that one, plug in the new one, and there, there you go. All the drivers are installed, Windows is updated, you know, all the settings are done, everything's done, and just boot them up, change the PC name, change the RDP name, all that stuff on it, um, and then uh, get access to it, and change the uh, you know, G minor uh, worker name, and that's it. And then start it up, and there it goes. 
So it could be an easier solution uh, if it ever, ever requires a huge amount of updates. Um, currently right now, they're not required. They're, everything's updated um, to the max. Uh, everything's running fine. But in the future, if, every, if uh, that's required, that's an option we have, which saves us a lot of time. So if you're running a GPU mining farm, make sure you get one of these. You can get this on Amazon. It's a Wimi version here. Kind of see from it from all the sides. Get yourself an idea. Find it on Amazon. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys like it. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. Go to our other social media accounts. Subscribe to them. It's going to be Rumble, BitChute, Mind, Twitter, Facebook, Gab. And if you're looking for an ASIC or GPU mining farm, someone to manage it for you. Someone that knows where to get the GPUs. As you can see, we have hundreds here. And we can acquire more and more and basically have an unlimited supply of them. Uh, that's something we also bring to the table for our investors or our clients. That's going to be it for this video. Until next time, bye.